Get references for your research very fast using this chat GPT technique. You will be able to get over 20 latest citations for any research topic in minutes and download them using Zotero. You will also be able to use ChatGPT to write your literature review using these citations, Citee for you, and save you a lot of hours. As you can see, all these are citations I downloaded, over 20 of them using Zotero and ChatGPT. You can see ChatGPT generating the citations and links using GPTs. This method will make your research time shorter and efficient. You can see that I later downloaded all the citations into Zotero and then had to feed them back into ChatGPT to write my literature review while citing these sources. Later we shall clean this for plagiarism and also bypass any AI detector on Earth. This means you can have your research done in a very short time. This is the eight-page literature review article I later wrote using ChatGPT and my citations. I fed the citations into the chatbot using Zotero. This technique won't be taught to you in school but will shorten you time. You can even see the bibliography that has been added using ChatGPT. You can see that it is in line with the articles I searched and downloaded in Zotero. This method can as well work with Mendeley. Later, I'm going to show you how to clean this article by adding citations better using Zotero, also paraphrasing it for plagiarism, and clean it from being detected as AI. These methods are completely ethical and allowed. You focus on your research data collection. Let us dive into it. Got to ChatGPT and type the following command. You're a research professor in Computer Science Department of Oxford University. Develop a research topic on supercomputers, something worth a PhD research. Now we have our research topic. Let us go ahead and use it to generate our research title. Type the following command in the chat. Now from this topic, create a research title. Follow PhD format. Enhancing energy efficiency and computational sustainability in supercomputing through advanced machine learning techniques. As you can see, we have our research title generated for us. From this research title, we are going to do a detailed article search for our paper. Go to GPTs. This will require a paid account. Now move to the research category and look for SciSpace. Open it and then type the following command. Locate studies on this topic. Optimizing energy consumption and promoting computational sustainability in high-performance computing systems. A machine learning approach. As you can see, articles are being generated for us with direct links to these articles. Do not get excited first. We have to download them using Zotero. I will show you a technique to download these articles into your Zotero application. As you can see, clicking on one of them takes you to the article link on SciSpace, which means these are valid references. Now, open a new tab and open ChatGPT again. Go to the GPTs and again move to the research section. Here, look for consensus and open it. Now type the command we used in the first part in this one as well. As you can see, we are having articles generated for us. These are latest articles if you see the years clearly. Let us proceed to gather more articles. Again, open a new tab and go to ChatGPT, visit the GPTs, and look for Scholar GPT. Type the same command in the GPT, and then as you can see, we have citations generated for us in line with our research topic. We are now going to download all these to our computer. If you have Zotero, you can skip to the next part. If you do not, we are going to download Zotero. Go to Google and type the following. Download Zotero. Click on the link that says www.zotero.org. You will be taken to Zotero download page. Here, let us first install the Chrome plugin. Click the link and visit the Chrome web store. Click Add the Chrome. This will download and install the plugin for you. You can see that this tool is used by a lot of people. 
you can go ahead and pin the plugin to the taskbar. Now go back to your Zotero page and download the Windows or Mac OS application. Click on download link and your download will start. When the download is complete, double click the extension to install it. This will take you thought the installation process. Just follow the steps and finally you will reach the end. Open the installed application and a getting started page will be opened. Click on the get started link and it will take you to the account creation page. Here, create your Zotero account and when done, go back to the application to connect it to the web plugin. Just log in with your details. If you complete this step, then we go back to our citations to start downloading them. Now, as you can see, downloading articles generated by SciSpace GPT is hard. When you do, Zotero just gives you a snapshot of the article a link. Do not worry, I have a trick. Highlight the article with its authors, then open it in Google search. You will see the best matching article. Now for our article, this is the exact article. This is a PDF format and can be downloaded. Click on Zotero to download it. As you can see, it has been added to Zotero with the authors. In the previous one, the authors were missed since they were being added as links. Now going back to ChatGPT, open another link for the citations. This will redirect to the article. Again, highlight the article and search it in Google. This is the article and the authors are matching. Open it, and this is a PDF, can be downloaded. Click Zotero icon and this will be added to your Zotero account. As you can see, we have it added in our application. Do the same thing for the rest of the articles until you have downloaded all of them. When done, go to the next ChatGPT tab and download other articles. For this of consensus, articles can be downloaded directly. Just click on the link and it will open the article. Now click on the Zotero icon. You can see the article being downloaded and added to our Zotero account. Do the same for the rest of the articles until all of them are done. When you're done, go the next tab and download the articles. This one is also tricky. Highlight the article directly in ChatGPT together with the author. Open in Google search and then you can find the article. Open it and then you go ahead to click the Zotero icon to download it. As you can see, it has been downloaded to our Zotero application. Remember, it is very important when you open an article, let it load completely. Do not rush to add it to Zotero. You will miss some things from being downloaded. Now proceed and complete downloading the rest of the articles until all of them are done. Now, we have all our articles downloaded. You can see how fast it was to get citations that are relevant to our research title. Now, we are going to feed all these articles into ChatGPT to start writing and citing them into our research literature review article. In Zotero, go to File. Then export. Export all your articles as Wikipedia citation templates. This method saves all your citations as a TXT document, including the links to the articles. When done with this step, go to ChatGPT and now open a fresh tab. Type the following command. Write a research literature review on this topic using the citations provided. You can also use your extensive knowledge. You're a PhD student of computer science, so make sure you write like one. Do not forget to add citations using the citations document I have given. Also add bibliography. This is the topic. Optimizing energy consumption and promoting computational sustainability in high-performance computing systems, a machine learning approach. This is what you're going to do. After you have understood this command and read everything in the file I have given you, ask me for what next, then only start writing after I have given you how to write following my pattern. Upload the citations file we generated and saved on the computer. When done, click enter and wait for the magic. Now proceed to type the following command into the chat. Now for every section of this literature review, you're going to ask me if you should move to the next section of it. If I say proceed, then you can move to the next section. If I say no, then create a new paragraph on the section you have been writing on. Only go to the next section if I say it's okay to move to the next. Otherwise, continue expounding more on the section you have been working on by creating another paragraph. If you have understood this, rephrase it for me. Then I will know you have understood this because it is important. 
Now ChatGPT is going to start writing. Why the second command? This will make sure that we write a longer document and also ChatGPT will continue writing until we ask it to proceed to the next section. This trick will always help you generate longer documents. As you can see, we are having our article generated with references that are our own. If you still want a longer document, just tell ChatGPT not to proceed to the next section. It will write one section and ask you if to proceed to the next section or not. You just ask it to write another paragraph to make the section longer. Now, copy the generated content to a Word document and save. Do this until ChatGPT reaches the last part. In the last part, you can see that ChatGPT even adds on bibliography to our article. You can see that the bibliography is of our exact articles we downloaded and fed into it. You can see our final document that we have generated. You can go ahead to read through and remove some errors until you have a perfect document. This document has been cited using our citations and has been written in line with our references. This is part one of two. In part two, we are going to learn how we can paraphrase this such that it is free from plagiarism and also how we can bypass AI detectors for free. Do not forget to like, share, and comment. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more AI content.